Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to send different RPC messages in order to deal damage to another player, and then if that player's health gets down to a certain amount, they will delete from the server. So the code's not going to be completed for um, for this tutorial on how to respawn and such, but we're going to change the, the destroy to respawn in the future just so um, the player can keep their stats uh, preferably so it doesn't reset any of their stats, maybe they got some kind of upgrade during the game or um, something along those lines but um, I guess I'll figure that out in future tutorials but we're gonna continue with this one I changed around a couple of different things that you're going to have to edit in order to get this to work because how I have it set up it needs to be set up in a certain way so first thing you want to do um, just to make sure I'm not sure if this affects anything but you want to put a network view onto the main camera and then we can go on to player also one thing is you want to get rid of the fire code out of uh, the main camera and just put it into the main player that way it's easier for the stats to get transferred because they all have to be on to the player to uh, affect the different stats but yeah just drop the fire code onto the player and then we're going to be creating a code for player stats and that's pretty much it. Abilities I haven't worked with yet or I haven't messed with but yeah that's pretty much it. So if we go in here I ended up changing the fire code or I had to change up the fire code in order to, to get it to work with RPCs. Now what RPCs are, are pretty much ways that you can transfer data during gameplay from um, one client to a different client so it's keeping track on the server when stuff is called so we use RPC functions to do all that so if you're um, sending out a raycast or something or trying to transfer variables you want to do it through an RPC and that's why these functions get labeled with RPCs see how above my function RPC that means this function right here is now an RPC function that can be transferred so if we go and we fire um, it'll take our network view to RPC. It'll call. So this is how we're calling functions now. Instead of calling functions the normal way, we have to call it like this. Because RPC all means it sends it to everyone who's connected to the server. It's sending out um, this so everybody can be affected by it. So maybe if you had two teams, you would set RPC mode to only apply to one team or another team, depending on which team you're on. But we won't mess with that right now. So this will basically call the shoot code here. And in here I had to change around a few things. Since um, I decided this is going to be a multiplayer game instead of fighting against enemies, we are now going to change um, hit the transform tag to player. Also you want to go in here and actually I'm just going to get rid of the enemy for now because we're not going to be working with that. I might cover AI in the future for a different tutorial, but I don't want to include AI in here for right now. Maybe like bots or something if you don't have enough players, but for now we are just going to be making a multiplayer FPS. So you want to go on your player and drop this down and there should be a preset player tag right there. That's how we're going to be accessing the different players. So pretty much it calls the Raycast, which the Raycast will be an RPC since it's set to RPC. And if it hits the tag for player, then we will activate the code in here. So what I did was I got rid of, or I um, canceled out by putting these two lines. So it just makes it text, so it's not affected. So you just want to um, get rid of this right here, so we can call it through an RPC. So hit dot transform, so you can see that it's pretty much like that. Instead of send message we're going to be using networkview.rpc and we're going to be applying damage. Now player stats is attached to the player itself so when this gets called so pretty much um, if it hits another player it'll call the apply damage and rpc all and deal 5 damage. And that's pretty much what this does, it'll if it hits the player and each player has player stats on it so 
it also has an RPC so we can call RPCs or whatnot. And so it'll call apply damage, plug that int, that um, that 5 into here, and deal the damage. Now if you wanted some kind of random damage, or if your player has like a power up or something, you're going to want to calculate that before you send out the RPC for how much damage it does. Now if it doesn't hit the player, it won't deal any of that damage, but it's just sending it out just to make sure if it does hit, that it can calculate. And now you're not only um, confined to just using one variable, you could do a comma and put in a different variable, and after the five you can put another comma and put in other variables if you wanted. So if you wanted like um, the character to slow down for a certain amount of time, you could put um, something like that in here. So if it's been applied with a slow, the character will start moving slower and whatnot. But for now, we're just going to work with this. So it'll send the RPC code over to this one. And it'll do curhp minus equals damage. And so, yeah, damage is all calculated. And I just put a little debug there. So, yeah, I just did curhp and max HP like we've been working with before. Variables don't need anything special since they're instantiated. They're all going to be their own thing. Um, but, yeah. That's all you need for the firing code to get that all set up. So I bet a lot of people are really happy that I ended up figuring this all out, <laughs> getting a server set up and being able to deal damage and kill other players pretty much. But we'll have to build like a score system or something to keep track so after a certain amount of kills the game will end and award a winner. So that's another thing to look forward to. So. Yeah, from my last tutorial, I said um, just go build settings, and so I'm just going to build this. I don't think I built a new one yet, or maybe I did for testing, but we'll just build one again. Just to show you guys that it functions properly, and I should probably test this with both, both players. Um, So I'll start server, allow access, refresh host, tutorial. So I'm going to land on top. So here, oh, let's see if we can get this. All right, so nothing special is going to happen right now. It's going to delete after a certain amount of hits. So I'm just going to fire, keep firing, and now it's gone. So it's completely deleted from the server. Oh, and I forgot to go over that real quick. Oh, and after it's deleted, you see I can't control or anything, it just keeps the screen. So I'll have to work with something like it switches to a different camera or a different screen before we instantiate another one back in and give it that. So that's a simple little bug we'll have to fix. But let's see here. The script I forgot to go over for this is this right here. So instead of using normal destroy, you want to use network.destroy, so it'll get rid of the this object off the network. So this object is just the entire player prefab with everything attached to it, so it'll just delete it from the server. So here's a simple way to transfer variables across RPCs and deal damage to other players.